In this video, I will go over everything that you need to know about the PlayStation Portal, all of my experiences with it, the design, the menus, what it can do, what it actually is. And this video is sponsored by PlayStation and they sent over this PlayStation Portal so that I could make a video on it. The PlayStation Portal it is a remote player for PS5, so you can play your PS5 games handheld anywhere you want, in your home or at all the people's homes, wherever you have the access to Wi-Fi. You can play on your couch, in your bed, while still having the comfort of your DualSense controller. So essentially it is an accessory to your PlayStation 5 and it seamlessly connects to your PS5 over Wi-Fi. Now straight out of the box, setting it up was really easy. It uh, required a few updates and actually setting it up to work was really easy. Now let's talk about the design. Probably the most intriguing thing about it at first glance is the design. It definitely and literally looks like a DualSense PlayStation 5 controller cut in half and they put a screen in the middle of it. And holding it in my hands it definitely feels the same as on my DualSense. And the controllers actually have all of the specs that you have gotten to know from your actual dual sense really nice the screen I find it really crisp, really sharp. I want to call this a really high quality screen. The D-pad feels the same. The actual PlayStation home button is located over here. You have your L2 and R2 triggers and they feel the same as it does on a regular controller. You have volume up and down, on and off button and a pairing button. On the underside you have a USB-C for charging and an AUX input. Now first impression wise it feels very sturdy definitely not wiggling anywhere and I like that we have this rough surface so that you feel like you're actually gripping on something. Now the actual analog sticks they are a bit smaller than the original analog sticks on your DualSense and I will soon go into more about that. So menus and connectivity. Now if you just swipe on the screen up here on the right corner you get this menu where you can adjust the brightness of the screen and also you can access your settings. So this is where you can connect to the internet you can do a few settings regarding language, date and time, power saving, and you can decide if you want to have the uh, light bars lights on or off. Also change if you want to have the mute button light on or off. It does not support Bluetooth, but Sony is releasing some earbuds that can go with this device next year. Meanwhile, you can plug in your AUX cable and connect your headset through that. So let's talk about my experience, my actual experience with the console. I have had it for two weeks. I can definitely say that I have been playing on this every single day. Every single day on my couch and also I'm taking it to bed and I'm bed gaming. So couch gaming, bed gaming and I also brought it over to neighbor Stefan's place because I was curious how it would play since it is a Wi-Fi device, how it would play on his internet going all the way over to my internet at my home we are not that close of a neighbors actually it is a little drive but we still call him neighbor stefan because he was an actual neighbor earlier that's a bit of uh, isha gaming and the crew lore for you anyways so i wasn't on my wi-fi i was on his wi-fi and to my surprise it connected all the way over to my wi-fi and to my ps5 that's in the living room and guess what I did? Sitting on neighbor Stefan's couch, I played a ton of Outriders, which is a third person shooter game, really actiony, and it played perfectly. And I was stunned and I was shocked and I could not say it enough to him. Like, look at this, look at this. There's no lag, there's no input lag, there's no actual lag. I was so amazed and I also forced him to hold it. And he was like, hmm, yeah, oh yeah. This is good. <laughs> Paraphrasing, of course. I don't think he said it like that. <laughs> so I have already been taking this outside of my home, been taking it to some other people as well. And it plays amazingly on all the people that I have gone to internets all of their Wi-Fi's. I don't know the strength of their Wi-Fi's. I would assume that you need a good internet. I would assume so. But knock on my table, every place that I have taken it, it has been playing perfectly. And I don't know why I thought that he wouldn't. 
I honestly thought that it wouldn't handle that stuff because I have made a video previously on remote play and cloud gaming. Cloud gaming is something else than remote play. I went over that in a previous video. Cloud gaming, I said that I feel is still a little ways off until it is perfect. However, I have mentioned it already that I feel like remote playing, especially on PlayStation side, has been really good. But this is PlayStation's actual software doing the actual remote play play not through a third party app and it is better. I don't know what kind of magic PlayStation put into this as kind of software but it is playing excellently. I am hands down actually very impressed by the software, by how they are doing remote play. PlayStation is so far in my opinion leading the remote play game and the PlayStation Portal I feel is the game changer almost said game chasers. Now when it comes to the battery life, I feel like it is good. I played for so many hours and I had almost forgotten that this is a handheld device, that it's not plugged into anything, it actually runs on a battery. But the thing is, since it doesn't actually do all of the powerful work within what I'm holding, I'm explaining this terribly. It's actually just a device that picks up an image from somewhere else, from actually my PS5 in my living room. And so, therefore, it doesn't get that hot. It didn't get hot at all, let's be real. And also I felt like the battery lasted like almost forever. I am impressed by the battery life. Now in this footage, you can see that I am playing at neighbor Stefan's place on his Wi-Fi, and it is looking really, really good. And you know, I thought that was a relieving feeling. Feeling like I brought my actual PS5 over to someone else's place. But this time I did not have to bring my entire big PS5 over to a friend's house if we were gonna play a game together and do a LAN party, a local LAN party sort of thing, where we just play together until we drop. It felt like I was bringing my PS5. And in a way I was, because this is my PS5 now. I'm just gonna let you know that I have not been playing on my PS5 on the TV since I got this device. This is my PS5 now. My PS5 is just up there. I don't even think about it. This is my PS5. Now here are my constructive criticism. I'm just gonna have it said that I love the device. I'm playing it every day. This is really a device for me because I was already a big fan of remote playing my PS5. However, here's one thing that I wish they could improve on and that is I feel like the lowest volume setting is still a bit too loud for my tastes if I want to silently game without disturbing other people in the living room. I wish the lowest volume was a bit lower. Also, you are not able able to watch Netflix or YouTube on your PS portal. I don't know why. Maybe they will add that later, I don't know. But I don't know why you would. But I'm mentioning it. The PS portal is not for that. Another constructive criticism is that I have <laughs> small hands. This is on me, okay? I have a, a bit too small hands for the device to actually feel very comfortable when it comes to shooters. When I am pressing L2 and R2 like a lot in a game, because my thumb is not long enough, I feel like. So I wish there was... Oh yeah, the barubella song. Your man shit. That was my cat. Where was I? Yeah, I wish you could change the analog sticks. Uh, I would like them to be lower down because I have a small hands problem. But you cannot change your analog sticks, at least not uh, officially. But I put the portal in Ishamans' hands and he was like, what are you talking about? This is perfect. But he has manly big hands. Uh, so that is something. Okay, so let's go over what I'm currently playing. I've been playing a lot of my time at Sandrock on this device, uh, definitely. And it plays well, it runs well, looks well, and I am enjoying playing games handheldly on the portal because currently these are the best handheld graphics that I have available for me. I'm also playing Coral Island. Uh, I'm not far into it. I find it kind of um, mediocre. I am playing Outriders again, like I mentioned, and it runs really good. I like that game. Good game. So, such a good game. I am continuing Assassin's Creed Mirage still. I am nearing the end of that game and uh, I'm having a great time. Great time. And I want to say that I love collecting trophies now in handheld on my couch. And if it's something that I've repeated over the years on my channel, it is that I prefer handheld gaming. 
I don't know what it is. Um, I'm just more comfortable if I can have the freedom. Also, after getting the portal, I have felt really inspired into diving into games that I haven't touched in years. I am deep diving into my library of games and I am just more inspired to going back to games. Like right now, I am collecting some stuff that I hadn't already collected and trying to wrap things up in Valkyrie Elysium, a game that I played last year. And it is so much fun. It's just so much more appealing when I have the games in my hands. So my verdict, who is the PS Portal for? It is for you if you already have a PS5 and you also enjoy handheld gaming and wish that you could trophy hunt on your couch or in your bed or at a friend's house. So it is also definitely for the people that wants to bring their PS5 over to their house and play on their Wi-Fi and it works like magic. It is incredible. So I am playing it every day. I will be playing this for years to come. And also I recommend that you get a carry case because this one I am definitely bringing over to neighbor Stefan's place and all the friends' places a lot. As long as there is a Wi-Fi connection, I will be bringing this, okay. I'm bringing my PS5 with me everywhere. It's like magic. Now, I hope this video was informative to you. If you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you checked out my social media links down below, hit like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and thank you so much PlayStation for sponsoring this video and giving me this device, which is gonna be so much used now in Christmas. It's gonna be a blast, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna play a lot of my older games that I haven't touched in so many years because now I feel just so inspired. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.